Now let's look at the case in which the work done by a force to move a body of mass m down the inclined plane. Suppose this be an inclined plane of inclination theta. Let a mass of m is placed on the inclined surface. The different forces acting on these masses are, as we discussed before, the first one is the weight which is acting vertically downward. So this weight can be resolved into an mg cos theta, mg cos theta, since this angle, if this angle is theta, this angle will be theta, mg cos theta along the downward direction and an mg sin theta, mg sin theta along the plane. So this weight can be resolved into this. There is a normal reaction, also there is a normal reaction acting vertically upward. Since we are applying a force in this direction, in this direction P, since we are moving, we want to move the body down the inclined plane, friction will act in the direction above, above the inclined plane, Fp. So these all are the different forces acting on the mass. So consider the consider the equilibrium equilibrium of the body along the plane. Consider the equilibrium of the body along the plane. We have the forces up the plane is equal to the forces down the plane. So the forces acting downward are P plus mg sin theta. The forces down the plane must be equal to forces up the plane that is Fk. Fk is the force acting up, upward. Therefore P will be Fk minus mg sin theta. Also, the friction will be Fk is equal to mu k times the normal reaction. The friction is equal to mu k times normal reaction minus mg sin theta. Clear. Let's call that as equation number one. Now, let's take the, let's consider, consider the vertical, vertical, equilibrium of the body vertical equilibrium of the body so the forces acting upward that is r must be equal to the force acting downward mg cos theta so r must be equal to mg cos theta call that as equation number two you can substitute the equation two in equation one and the one will become P is equal to P is equal to mu k into R can be substituted as mg cos theta mg cos theta minus mg sin theta. So P will be you can take the mg out mg times mu k cos theta minus sin theta. So this is the net force acting on the body in order to move it down the inclined plane. Therefore the work done will be work done will be W is equal to force times displacement that is P into S where P is the distance we move this this mass along the plane that is if, if let this be the final position of the mass and the distance from the, its initial position is s so therefore w is equal to we already found p equal to mg times mu k cos theta minus sin theta that's our p times s so this is the expression for work done by the force to move the body down the inclined plane. Clear.